thought I'd hike a challenging terrain, so today I'm out at Saugatuck Dune State Park. This park covers 1,000 acres along the Lake Michigan shoreline between Saugatuck and Holland. In addition to the shoreline, the park also includes coastal dunes and forested areas. With 13 miles of trails, there's lots to cover, so let's get going. Today I'm tackling just the South Trail. That'll be enough for me. And if you come out early enough, you'll have the trail all to yourself. Maybe you'll hear the occupants of the woods. Along the trail, you'll find a variety of plant life and tree life what I like to do always is to shoot some details. So looking at the light coming across these leaves, I think it's a sassafras tree. And you have the repeating pattern of the leaves. Not only is this a detail shop, the repeating pattern works well for black and white. It's not Tom Tree time yet, but here are two contenders. I'm hoping that the tree I'm after is still there. I'll show it to you later. But look at these two. They have holes in them. They're twisted, textured. This one's especially cool with the holes. So I see a lot of these trees here on the path. Here's a few things to do when you come to the park. Do wear good shoes because the trail can be very sandy, obviously because of the dunes. And also, if you're gonna walk through the woods, make sure you put on bug repellent because there's a lot of mosquitoes here and it's also tick season. But another do is to look up because I believe these are dunes that have been covered with trees. Here's another do. Do stay on the well-marked trails instead of veering off and going on other foot trails. Because as you can see, those have been blocked to prevent further erosion. Besides, the trails will bring you where you want to go. You know I'm always looking up and I'm also looking down when I go for a hike. And this trail is full of tree roots coming up, so do be careful when you're walking, but also take some pictures because they kind of form cool patterns, give a distinct look to the trails. Saugatuck Dune State Park also includes the 300-acre Patty Burkholtz Natural Area. This area was the first public-private partnership project for the Land Conservancy of West Michigan. Here's where you can do one of those comparison shots between big and small and different textures. Look how that tree in the foreground is still kind of considered a sapling, especially when you compare it to its neighbors. So this is a lot of the terrain that I'm coming across right now. And I wanna give you a feel for what it's like in the woods. The sun is filtering through and you can see the highlights here and there. 
there's still a feeling of being in something. So remember that when we come to the dunes. So I told you to be prepared for that feeling of release when you walk out from the woods and you come upon the beach. On my last visit here two years ago, I came across a solitary tree on the dunes. In a number of my videos, I've recommended circling your subject of interest to determine the best angle. As you can see from my images at the time, I incorporated this tree from a variety of angles in a number of different compositions. As you might have guessed, this tree is today's tom tree. And one final do if you come out to this park and take this trail, do give yourself a lot of time not only to hike through the woods and enjoy that part of it, but also when you get to the beach, enjoy the dunescape. It's a different ecosystem out here. And everything just kind of slows down. So enjoy the view. For more information about Saugatuck Dunes State Park, you can check out the DNR website or that of the Land Conservancy of West Michigan. Thanks for exploring with me. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked and learned something new. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and getting notified when a new video posts. And I hope to see you out on the trails.